Hey guys, welcome to another bucket plugin tutorial, and today it's on Call of Minecraft Zombies. So this is a fantastic plugin which recreates Nazi zombies within Minecraft. So um, there have been like three or four Call of Duty games with zombies in. I've only played World at War uh, because after COD 6 it just went downhill. But uh, that's really fun, and I presume the Black Ops Zombies is also uh, as fun as World at War. So uh, this plugin recreates uh, it in Minecraft, and it does it very well. So there's perks, pack and punch, doors, uh, zombie spawns. Uh, it all links in together. There's power, which I uh, have already turned on, and there is the mystery box, of course. So um, I'm using a texture pack I just grabbed off the internet. Uh, it's, it's obviously not right. This is not an SMR, and this is not a DSR. Um, whatever those guns are, I've never heard of them before. So here is the mystery box, um, and I got an M14, so it's got the same texture. But uh, you could make your own texture pack, or just grab one. Uh, let's see what other ones I get. Still getting similar ones, but uh, you can make your own guns. If you don't like these, you can go back to the old school guns, like uh, Car 98K or the uh, ray gun. Other stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to set it up after I uh, pack and punch these guns and see what I get. So there was a drop. What is it? Insta kill? No, fire sale. I'm not sure what that is. That wasn't in World at War. Uh, so there we go. Pack and punch. This, this honestly, this plugin is amazing. Um, I don't think the developer is doing it anymore. Someone else took over, but it's still updated to 1.8, and it's just brilliant. So, ooh, we've opened the door and the zombie spawners uh, behind the door start working now that the door's open. It all links together, as I said. So, um, I'm going to show you how to set it up in a second. I'm just having too much fun. Uh, like this. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. So that's how we do it. So, uh, there is also perks, which I will show you uh, in a second. I can't really remember where I put the perks. Over this wall. Okay, so uh, need to cheat a little. Here is the perk machine, so it's speed cola. And um, yeah, so ignore the texture, of course. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. And there's another gun over here. This is the AN-94. So uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to set it up now. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to um, use the signs. So before I do that, I'm actually going to disable the arena test, uh, which would not allow me to build. So now I can build in it, which is good. So zombies on the top line. Uh, the second line is perk. And on the third line is the actual perk you want. So there is juggernaut, double tap, speed cola, quick revive, stamina up, PhD flopper, and some others. So let's go with juggernaut for this example and uh, on the third line is obviously the price so 10 and uh, you can set prices depending on uh, what you want which is pretty cool so uh, once we've done that uh, we can also make gun signs so let's do one of those so similar method so zombies on the top line gun on the second and the gun name followed by the price and ammo um, so it's going to be an S12, I believe that's one in the config. You can just edit that in the config. Very, very easy. And um, then there's the mystery box. So, zombies, top line, mystery box on the second line, and the price on the third line. There we go. Now let's create a pack and punch machine. So, uh, let me make sure I do this correctly. Pack hyphen A hyphen punch, and then the price, like so. Then you can create a power machine as well, so people have to turn on the power before they can do things, like that. And um, yep, that's pretty simple. Uh, let me just check, I've done all the signs uh, apart from the door. So uh, guns, uh, perks, and uh, teleporter, so I'll get into that in a second. But uh, now I think you want to learn how to create an arena, so you do zombies and then create arena and this is going to be the rise um, like that very simple and then we need to go to the top left hand corner of the arena to form a cuboid and type p1 and then fly to the bottom right hand corner for p2 so 
Um, I'm just going to fly in here, P2. I'll go a bit lower. You can download this map from Planet Minecraft. I'll leave a link in the description. It's very, very good. Made really, really well. And uh, looks a lot like Derise, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, if anyone who's watching is German, what does Derise mean? Because I know uh, other maps like Nocta Untota means Night of the Undead. So, uh, Derise, does that mean anything in German? I'd be interested to know. Um, so, yeah, we need to set the player warp, which is where they are teleported when they uh, begin the game. Uh, and finally, the spectator warp and the lobby warp. So let's do that up here on my glass plinth. So uh, lobby warp and spectator warp. So now we have done that, we can add some zombie spawns. So this is pretty pretty awesome. Um, you can set as many as you want, and then you can go ahead and delete them. And yeah, so let's get into that. So the zombies add spawn. And then uh, the arena name, so it's the guys. Like that. Okay, so we need to de disable it first. Zombies, disable, the rise. I should have picked an easy name, really. There we go. Okay, so add one spawn, add another spawn, and another. So you can add these uh, everywhere, and even behind barriers and doors. So I'm going to show you how they don't spawn behind the doors unless you've opened it. So that's such a cool feature. So once we've done that, uh, we've added enough. There's loads of invisible blocks here, which is annoying. Uh, we can start to do zombies add door for the arena um, to rise. So lots of text, how do we do it? Well, we select the door, the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner or vice versa. Uh, with the with the sword, left click and right click, and then do just done, done in chat. Now we need to select some spawn points. So um, all of these spawn points that have been set in here won't be active unless the door's open, which is such a cool feature. Uh, now we need to select this sign. So um, it's, it, we're only going to be able to come in from this way. So uh, we only really need that sign. And now we need to just type in uh, a price for the door, so 20. And there we go, the signs have changed. There we go, it's 20. And if we right click that, it will open and the zombies will start spawning over there. So there's a few more things that you can do. Um, so let's show you how to do the spectator sign. So in the top uh, line, you do zombies as usual. Spectate on the second line and the arena name on the third line. So, um, that's how you do that, and you can also make kits, so um, zombies with square brackets as usual, and then kit and juggernaut, um, but I don't think there is any in the config at the moment because I haven't put them in, but that's pretty uh, straightforward, so if that was there it would work. And finally, the teleporter, so you can do this, so zombies add teleporter. <coughs> And it's going to be called um, main. So once you've done that, you can um, go over here and do zombies teleporter, and then the name. So it's main and the cost to use it. So especially on Derise, you can fly around, and I believe there is uh, like teleporting machines. So you could, uh, if you've got enough money, you can right click it, and you can go back to the pack and punch machine at the beginning. So um, yeah, I believe that's everything. Um, you can also do help and then user, that shows you some commands, and then uh, admin. So it's for start, admin 2. I think I've covered everything, so let's just re-enable it. Zombies enable uh, to rise. And job done. So the best thing about this plugin is it's fully updated to 1.8.3. It works and it's free. So um, I'm, I'm surprised it's not a premium plugin on Spigot as everything is nowadays. But um, yeah, it's fantastic, especially for a free plugin. So uh, yeah, the developer's done very, very well. And uh, hope he continues to uh, keep it up to date. And with that, I think uh, I'm off. So hopefully I can find the texture pack uh, link. So if I have, I'll put that in the description with the map and the plugin. 
so you can download it and play it yourself. So enjoy that, and I will see you in a few days, maybe tomorrow.